Well, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a functionality proof for mainboard for Visio M3D460SR that was sent back by Rod Ned according to the label. This is just uh, so that he can see this is the board. I don't re remember or know what it was sent for but usually it is for black and white picture and uh, he complains that I am returning the board for further examination. TV turns off and itself turns off by itself after power off. Uh, he probably means turns on by itself after power off. And coincidentally, I believe a week ago I uploaded or so a video of a nephew of, or maybe even sister of that board. It is for M3D. 550 KDE and KD, same thing. And on that other video, it can be found in our YouTube channel, probably, I don't know, two, three videos before this one. The problem was that the board was rebooting because it could not make a connection with a Bluetooth module and it could not shut down properly. So what I'm gonna show you here is how this board behaves. First, I'm gonna turn it on. And there you go. And then it starts playing. Alright, come on, come on, come on. HDMI player, come on. No, no signal. Let's see where we are. There you go. So it started playing. Um, just, I guess the GMI player needed a little time to start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, nothing changes here, fifteen, 16 let me see is that off yeah even that is off uh, so you would say it's it's pretty stable and i'm going to show you what exactly i mean what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it on now and by the way if it didn't shut off properly it wouldn't respond to this turn on that i just issued so it is powering on now i'm going to wait for it to power off power on completely and do the media player Nothing was done to that board ever since we received it. I think that the problem is what was described in the other video. I will discuss that in just a second. So we have the media player start. Come on, media player. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the... Bluetooth module from here. The TV continues to play. It doesn't bother, but watch what's gonna happen now. Shutting off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the 12 or 13, it should come back again. Okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. No, my bad. Hmm. I swear yesterday I saw it. There you go, it did came up. It took it longer. And I swear yesterday I did it on the 12 second, but let's say 20, 25 seconds maybe it took it to restart by itself. And it's going to do the same thing again. And this time I will do it with the cable connected and we will wait longer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up here. 
and I'm gonna turn it off and now we count again one two three actually I would better count with the seconds that I'm watching on my recorder is currently on 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 27, 28, 29, 15 seconds here. We're gonna wait another 15 seconds. This is 40. So from 40 to 45, 30 seconds so far turned off by itself. I mean, stably turned off and not restarting. And close to 45 seconds you can measure it if you don't believe me okay so 45 seconds staying on it's not gonna come on I know that so long story short I have one of two uh, several theories about why it is restarting on a customer end this has a loose cable broken cable customer loses that uses that board in a TV that doesn't have this uh, lower end model may not have that even though I believe this is the lowest 460 I don't think there is a smaller model than that yeah 460 SR so bad module at the end of this I believe it is honestly don't remember which one it will be but it would be yeah that one that's got to be the Bluetooth. Uh, bad connection here, bad Bluetooth module, bad connection here, and possibly if another one of those, but I don't think so, I really don't. This is where the controls are for the infrared and the buttons. Um, I haven't experimented. The Wi-Fi, I'm almost 100% sure, does not matter whether it's connected or not. So something in this chain, in my opinion, is bad on the customer side and that is what's causing the board to restart. Again, it's been two minutes now and it's still working. I'm shutting off and just sending this to the customer. You gotta investigate and find out. Uh, with the video that we've done before, the problem was that one of those pins was twisted sideways, the very top one, and it was actually impossible to tell took me a lot of time to figure it out because uh, you could plug that in and it was bent in a way that you could not feel resistance anything this is not the case here apparently it is good we have done nothing to that board but I believe this is the problem the board is functioning fine apparently uh, on our testing sense so it's got to be something in that chain on your side double check it and uh, find a problem good luck